If you're having problems with your wrist during a push-up, watch the rest of this video and we're gonna try to address that. So one of the most common complaints that I hear from clients is that when they go to be in a push-up position or even sometimes doing a dumbbell bench press, that they start feeling pain in their wrists. A common solution that you see thrown around the internet is to find modifications so that way you can continue to perform that specific exercise. And that offers an immediate solution, but not a long-term solution because obviously we want you to be performing the exercises that you want to perform, in this case, a push-up. However, you're always going to have to live with those modifications. And in my personal opinion, living with modifications shouldn't be the goal. The goal should be you can do whatever exercise that you want pain-free. So when we're trying to tackle fixing this problem, we want to ask ourselves several questions. So if I get into a position where my hands are down on the ground and I start leaning forward over my wrists, I want to ask, where is the pain coming from? Because that's going to give us a lot of information. So if I put my hand down and I start leaning over, do I feel a stretch or a strain or something painful on this side of the wrist? Or when I start getting into this position, I start feeling some type of tension or pressure or even sometimes like a pinching sensation on the front side of the wrist. We're going to address specifically today the front side of the wrist. So you're gonna want to place the back side of your palm on the ground, slightly lean forward, so that way you don't necessarily feel a stretch. And then you're going to want to lean back a little bit. So that way we're trying to create as much space between the back side of our palm and the top of our forearm. So if the pit of my elbow is facing in towards me, that I'm predominantly in an internally rotated position within the shoulder. If I try and face my bicep more forward, that's going to start changing the line of stretch. And then just ask, is the stretch starting to go away or is that stretch starting to get more intense? If the stretch starts to go away, you're gonna to wanna to return back to the greatest line of tension. And then that's where you're gonna to wanna to spend time stretching. Step number two is going to be applying a little bit of isometric work. It's called pales and rails or progressive angular isometric loading, regressive angular isometric loading. We always wanna try and add a little bit of strength work alongside our stretching. So that way we're trying to teach the body to solidify and produce force in the direction that we're trying to go. So if I, we come back to where we find that stretch, I lean back and then you're going to gas pedal your palm down specifically trying to use the muscles that were just under that stretch. And then once you create tension, you're gonna try and gas pedal lightly using the muscles that are being stretched. If you've never done this before, I would recommend you just starting light, half a pound to a pound of pressure, or what you think half a pound to a pound of pressure is, and then start with long duration isometrics. So anywhere between 45 seconds all the way up to even sometimes two minutes. So that way you're really working on the endurance muscles within that wrist. So that way we're not going straight to max effort training. That could be a little bit too intense if you've never done it before. Learn to listen to your body. Once you start producing force in that direction and it just does not feel right, we don't want this to be painful. We want it to start to feel natural, just as if you would do a bicep curl, as natural as that. If it does feel fine, try and go a little bit harder. Once you get more experience at that, you can start dealing with higher and higher intensities all the way up to as max effort as you can. Pulling it all together is gonna to be step number three, which is gonna be working on this side of the wrist in that same position. Now, I'm gonna try and use this side of my wrist and my forearm to lift my palm up off of the ground. And in this one, you can go harder naturally. It won't be as painful. And then you're going to relax. And then you're theoretically going to be able to go further back into a stretch just like that. Let's say you do this as a warm up. When you do your push ups, you do this procedure, you go straight into your push ups, and it feels great when you do that. That's going to be a nice step towards performing the exercises that you want to do pain free, which is exactly what this channel is about. So if you like the content that you've watched in this video, 
give that thumbs up a click. Subscribe if you can. That would help the channel out a lot. And I will see you in the next video.